Produce 101 Japan, The Girls is officially in its third season this year. From intense survival of idolship in 2019 to immense competition in 2020, Japan does not want to stop. This year, the show made a comeback for a third season with all-female contestants. It's produced by NTT Docomo Studio. Over 4,000 girls applied for the auditions that happened in two rounds, and those who passed got to be on the show. Produce 101 Japan, The Girls faced a crisis from the start with five trainees dropping out. However, the PDs revealed that those contestants left the show due to personal reasons. Anyways, what is going on with Produce 101 Japan, the girls? Is the third season really making it hard for the judges to select only 11 girls? Let's find out. In the second last episode of Produce 101, the third ranking announcement took place and the trainees ranking below 21st place were eliminated. The tension was thick as the third ranking announcement ceremony kicked off. The fate of the trainees hung in the balance, and you could practically feel the nervous energy in the room. First up were the rankings 19th to 12th, adding an extra layer of suspense before the big reveal. The room held its breath as each name was called out. Who would make the cut and who would narrowly miss it? When Keiko Shimizu secured the 11th spot, a collective sigh of relief echoed through the room. But there was no time for long exhales as the countdown continued. Shizuku Ida, Rina Aita, Kokoro Kato, Kokona Sasaki, Tsuzumi Ebihara, and Ayane Takami claimed their spots, each announcement sending ripples through the ranks. As the stakes get higher, the room becomes a pressure cooker. Finally, the moment of truth arrived for the top four. Ishiran, who is one of the top trainee in the show, secured the fourth position. The underdog, Rinon Murakami and Miyu Sakurai battled it out for third and second, raising shocks and eyebrows with the vote difference as thin as a strand of hair. And then, the crown jewel, Momona Kasahara, reigning supreme with a whopping 650,828 votes. But the tension didn't end there. Kagura Kato's 20th place finishment, she clung to her and proved her potential. Then, Kaila Kimura, the mastermind behind the final season, the debut evaluation. The trainees faced the ultimate decision, beyond imagination, or choppy choppy, each with its own set of challenges. The higher ranked ones had the power to shuffle the deck, stealing positions and leaving others in the dust. It was a strategic chess game and the tension was palpable. With positions locked in, the trainees dove headfirst into rehearsals for their final ballad, Fly Up So High, penned by the ever-talented Kaila Kimura. The stage was set and the trainees were ready to leave it all on the stage for their shot at debut glory. And so, the final chapter of this nail-biting journey began and trainees including Kasahara Momona, who's known to be a relative of Takashi Eito, a well-known Japanese songwriter who appeared with Kasahara during the finale of Produce 101. Kasahara was a former member of a Japanese band called Anger Me, and her professionalism was visible during her time at Produce 101. Fans consider her to be one of the most talented trainees in Produce 101. Murakami Rinon was also able to make it to the final lineup of Produce 101. She's known for her performance on Lee Pai with her cute visuals to dancing skills. Rinon was a surprising factor in this year's competition Petition as her rank shot up to third on the previous ranking. With her strength being stage presence and notable rap skills, she definitely deserved a spot in the top 11 final line members. Some even said that she reminds us of Honey from New Jeans but makes her a bit more Japanese. Then we've got Takami Ayane who secured the third spot in final line rankings. She's a Japanese trainee under Lapone Entertainment. Ayane interestingly has been the pick of many fans due to her angelic voice and catchy line which eventually became a killer part in Toxic. Her high notes are mesmerizing which complements her visuals too. Next off, we've got Sakurai Miyu, whose journey through multiple survival shows reflects her dedication to becoming a part of the upcoming girl group Mi Ai under Lapone Entertainment. Her participation in Nizi Project, Girls 999, and Produce 101 Japan highlights her resilience and commitment to honing her skills. It's evident that Miyu possesses a strong determination to make her mark in the competitive world of K-pop. As a trainee, she continued to showcase her talents working towards Towards the final debut of Mi Ai. Fans also sympathize with her as she wasn't able to debut with various survival shows like Nizi, Girls Planet, and Adore. So many fans rooted for her in the season of Produce 101 too. Yamamoto Suzu was also included in the final line members at number 5th. During her time on Produce 101, she was the one who caught the most attention of fans when Leaf High Individual Fan Cam was released, and she was also ranked high in the top 11. During the show, Suzu showed her determination to improve her stage presence and expression through relentless learning. Despite dropping to rank 15th just before the final, 
Suzu showed that she has a dedicated fandom that supported her dream of debut. Sasaki Koko naturally left a lasting impression on fans with her standout performance of First Love during the intense competition of Produce 101. In a season filled with remarkable battles, her relentless improvement from someone who has no prior experience managed to captivate hearts and set her apart from other talented trainees. Kokona's journey on Produce 101 has undoubtedly been a highlight of the season, and her ability to shine in such a tough competition was no joke. Another trainee known as Ida Shizuku formed the final line member. During the first mission when performing Body and Soul by Speed, she went viral for using her classical singing technique, which gave her the motivation to improve further and show great improvement in the following performance. Similar to Rinan, her ranking shot up to 10th just before the final and secure the 7th spot and a member of Mi Ai. Afterwards, Shimizu Keiko is also one of those trainees who got the most attention from fans due to their happy and energetic vibes. One of the fans living in Tokyo watching Produce 101 trainees walk by explained how Shimizu Keiko's comedic introduction caught her off guard and how it made her want to add Shimizu in her top 11 pick. The three other members who made it to the finale of the latest Produce 101 season were Ishidan, Ebihara Suzumi, and Kato Kokoro. Now, these finale members are no joke as fans considered the stakes of these members higher than anyone to debut. At last, during the finale, these members proved that they were ready to be part of the next Japanese big girl group. However, there are some fans who believe that Ishidan was well known and had her internet appearance before too. So, Ishidan, formerly under LDH, played the role of Seira Kudeha in the secret ex-heroine Phantom Mirage. She was once a member of Girls 2, contributing to the opening themes for secret ex-heroine Phantom Mirage and police ex-heroine Love Petrina. However, she has since moved on from LDH and is now a former member of Girls 2 and Lapone Entertainment. The reactions of fans is rather positive regarding the final lineup members and they are glad how every favorite member could make up to the final member. Some potential members got wasted like Rin, Yuki, and Momoka but that was up to the judges to decide. So let's see what each selected members bring to the table. Some fans are looking at the third season of Produce 101 and comparing it to the first season of Produce 48. It's like they see these survival shows as similar or like twins. It's funny how fans can easily notice the similarities between them. And after the successful decision of the final line members, the Japanese girl group Mi Ai debuted on 16th December 2023 with 11 girls. The official logo of Mi Ai has been released which looks really futuristic and neon so fans can expect so much from Mi Ai as these Japanese girls are second to none and their fresh blood will not disappoint them. Mi Ai might actually be one of the biggest J-pop girl groups because this season of Produce 101 has broken records with 14,000 applicants and it was filmed in both Japan and South Korea. So these girls have fans from not only Japan but Korea as well. Following a fierce battle on Produce 101 Japan, the girls, the curtains fell on the competition, revealing the 11 shining stars who would form the girl group Mi Ai. As we bid a farewell to the captivating journey of Produce 101 Japan, the girls, and the unveiling of Mi Ai, let the excitement linger in the air. The stage is set and the promising harmony of these 11 talented individuals is just the beginning.